everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have Limited Run Games, number 44 Collector's Edition in their Nintendo Switch run, Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Now this is an actual reproduction for the N64 game. Now you probably saw the Turok game itself, Collector's Edition, if you guys want to, I'll post it right up there. But uh, this game is pretty much like the first one itself, where he defeats the first boss and throws a rod that you needed to use to defeat the Netherworld or the Lost World, and uh, that Rod pretty much explodes and starts another power where he emerges and you pretty much have to defeat him. But this game is again about destroying awesome mechanical robot dinosaurs and monsters and spiders and pretty much all those back in the day in the 1990s, like 97 to 2000 I think is when these two games came out. But uh, we're about to open this box and check it out. Starting off with the limited run game cards that we always get, you got the nice title edition card, Turox 2, The Seeds of Evil, and an awesome back picture of the guy you play as, Turok. Now we're gonna open up this box, and if you guys knew the first box had the reflective holographic cover, this one does as well. And I was really excited about that because you cannot see it in the website itself. So it was a big surprise when everyone got their, cla their classic editions, and all these boxes came with this awesome holographic Ooh, the this the second one is so much better than the first because of the the actual like dinosaur skin It just makes the the holographic uh, Rainbow just looks so much better, but uh outside box is really nice guys The backside actually shows you a little bit more of that gameplay You get more HD remastered graphics a little more saturation color a lot more weapons um, But you still get that same old-school gameplay mixed fr from doom and pretty much Super Mario now We're gonna open up this collector's edition. I kind of don't want to ruin it. Now if you guys saw my first one already, the the actual double pack, came, the game box that I had before, uh, I showed that in the first video. Now that came with both of these collector's editions I ordered, but we're going to open this up for you guys right now. What comes in this box is the Browns N64 Repro ca a cartridge, a poster, the CD soundtrack, I'm pretty sure the bronze poster is just su stuck in there. Um, that has a uh, ooh, a good 19 songs on it. Wow. Okay. You get the game right here. Ooh, reflective cartridge. I mean, case as well. Cartridge. Now here's the cartridge for the Turok 2. We'll show you that in a sec. Ooh, this one's not even bronze this time. The first one is bronze. You might want to go check that one out. But we'll set this up and get started. So we'll start out with this poster. I think it's only one-sided, but I remember the first one. I didn't really like how many folds that they had. It's a little bit bland. I wish they kind of changed it up a little bit. But uh, they they do have a lot of folds, and you can tell by that. But uh, I guess we're going to open up the CD because the only other two things that we have are the bronze cartridge and the uh, game itself. Now this class, classic edition went for $54.99, guys, if you didn't know. And I really think it's right on the price point, just like I said for the first one. I really like the, I wish that texture came out on the CD, that'd be pretty cool. Now there are 19 songs I said at the start, and the CD did change in the first one, so I hope it's, oh, okay. A little bit of the same mixed with a little bit picture of the different of the Turok 2. If you guys understand that, you might want to watch the first Turok CD when I pulled it out. It has the same kind of uh, aim feel right in the middle, but it was like a giant white uh, outline, like a negative of a T-Rex, was pretty cool. But uh, I think from there, we're gonna get to the game itself because then we're gonna get into the cartridge. But just like the first game, this game comes with its awesome holographic casing cover art. And I, uh, again, guys, I'm just so blown back every time they do some holographic cover art. Ooh, guys, this game is really cool. I love the hollow edition because they have to put a little more metallic into the actual art, which makes the, the texture of the skin of the dinosaur on the actual cover art look a little more poppy. It gives it a little more uh, emphasis. Now on the backside, it's pretty much the same thing as collector's edition box, but uh, I guess we'll just show you guys the inside of the box. I think it comes with a tiny little manual Oh, <laughs> there's the manual right there. So we'll show you the manual in a little bit. It has that skin dinosaur on the inside cover art, just like the first one. And then the card itself is just a plain card. Again, I wish they mixed it up a little bit with their uh, cover editions, but uh, I, I really do like the hollow, and that just brings me over the top with this.
So I guess we're gonna get into the, it's not bronze, I guess it's a sil, I, I guess it's just a steel cartridge. Okay, here we go. That's the problem with the heavier ones. It's, I don't know if they're fully painted on or if they're fully like a steel color or a bronze. Cause you can tell right now that the cart already is starting to chip and I haven't even like done anything to the outside. But the more emphasis is I do love this just picture on the front. It gives it more, more heaviness, it gives it more reliability so I don't like crush it or do anything like that stupidly to it. But uh, that was my unboxing for Turok 2 Seeds of Evil, the number 44 collector's edition in the Nintendo Switch run for limited run games. Now what did you guys think about it? I really think that the price point's great. I liked how they moved to the metal and bronze steel cartridge repros because they just give it a, a lot more emphasis on the front of the cartridge instead of putting that fake plastic stuff. And I don't have to worry about it when I like smush it or anything like that. It's gonna keep up pretty well. The CD is really cool. And pretty much the only thing I wish is that they changed the cover art a little bit. But other than that, I love those holographic images. They're awesome. But what did you guys think about it? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more unboxings just like this one. I'll have more in the future. I got a lot coming up, guys. But I hope you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HubbaLubbaLoo for more of these pics of the unboxings and updates all I get for the collector's edition. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys next time.